Hi everyone, it's Nancy, and I'm back today to do Roxy's Weekly Challenge, week nine. I'm a bit behind, um, but I will be catching up soon. Um, week nine, she did page flips made from window envelopes. And just to show you what I mean, let's say this is a journal page, okay? Um, this is eight and a half by 11 folded in half and a page, page flip. It will slip on the side of the page and you glue it down. Okay, another, either on the other side or on the same side, on top of the page, and it'll open up like this. Okay, and then something will show through the window. So that's the basic idea. But before I get started, I just want to take a moment, a quick moment to say that welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, I really hope you enjoy the videos and that you get some inspiration from them. I want to thank you, thank everyone for subscribing to my channel and i want a big thank you to those who have given me a thumbs up on my videos and a huge thank you to anybody who's left any kind comments or words of encouragement um i really appreciate it and um thank you for supporting me okay get back to the challenge so Window envelopes. You often get them in the mail. Um, they come in all kinds of, you know, windows, sizes, lengths, everything. Here's one with a full window. Here's one with a, you know, I don't know what you call that, window. And here's one with double windows. Here's one with a long window. And here's another one. This is the one we're going to use today. And then there's these. There's, this one's got pretty large window. I sell these in my shop. So if you don't have any window envelopes, you can stop by my Etsy shop and get some. Okay, so most crafters, um, the issue is covering the envelope. Um, most of them prefer to collage it, collage the front, because it's easier that way. Um, and when I say collage, I mean like this. You know, I collaged around the window, and then I decorated it. I put on this this label from, actually this is from Rachel's Etsy shop. Uh, it's a digital of hers. It's um, one of her labels, I think. Yeah, labels because I bought labels and I bought the book plates. And um, yeah, so most of them prefer to do the collage and it is, I like to do collage. So I don't mind, you know, collaging around um, the window. And, and, but instead of showing you collage today, um, I thought I'd take, upon, take the challenge and, you know, I said to myself, what if I did really want to put one full piece of paper, you know, design on the envelope instead of collage? So I figured out a way that I could do it that was relatively simple and you wouldn't have to cut a template for the window. You know, cutting a template can be real fiddly. And um, since all junk mail envelopes you know, the windows vary in size. If you cut one template, it won't, might not be good for the next envelope you use. So, this is what I did. Now let me show you. This is, this is a flip I made, and I haven't finished it yet, where I covered it with one, you know, piece of, one design. And this is actually um, from Rachel's um, 
English Gardens kit. I love the I love those designs. They're so pretty. So I'm gonna show you how to do this today. And um and then see on this side instead of making just a, a you know like a half inch um you know half inch hinge um I made it a little bit larger so that when I flip it around when I put it on the page, I can make a, this makes a long side pocket on this page, okay? Now, I cut mine down to about seven and a half, just because that's the way I kind of like it. Um, this one's a little larger. You can see how it fits almost exactly the entire length of the page. They're both they both have their advantages and disadvantages. It depends on what you want. And as you can see, I put the window at the bottom on this one. So let me show you how we do this or how I did it. So you take your envelope, your window envelope, and it doesn't matter if it's, if it's um, glued shut or not. You're going to trim off a sliver on one end like this end where it's real close to the window and on the other end you just want to trim it off um, to the length that you want it for your journal page this one like I said is uh, seven and it's seven and a half just double checking yep seven and a half and then what you have once you do that oh and if it's glued shut you want to trim off the top not this part but the top part so you want to trim off the top so now you have an envelope that's, that you can open up like this okay so next thing you want to do is you want to trim off let me set this aside and I'm going to use Rachel's, um, another page from her English Gardens kit today. Okay. So the next thing you do is you want to cut this part off, this part off, which is going to be that long side pocket on the other side of the page. You want to cut that to size. So I'm just going to measure. I did about one and three quarters. Um, so i am put a mark there. Um, one and three quarters. And let me get my paper trimmer, my portable one. I don't know how well it's going to cut because it's really crappy. Sorry, but it is. So, I'm just going to trim this off, make sure it's fairly even, and bring it down. Okay, and this piece you can either save and make a, another long pocket or throw it out. And I'm going to throw it out because I've got so many other scraps. Okay. So now your envelope's ready to be covered. All right. Now I'm going to flip it inside out. Like this. Because I want my pot, my window to be in this position on the page. Okay. But you can flip it this way if you want where the window's at the bottom like that or you can flip it again inside out so that it hooks that way on the other side of the page and same with this flip it up and you got the window at the top okay so I'm going to make mine so it flips Flips inside out, hooks onto the right hand side of the page, 
and the windows at the top. Okay. All right. So next you want to do is take your design or paper and you want to um, decide where you want your window or where you want the paper to cover on the envelope. And I do that by holding it up to the light and I can see both the window and the um, envelope. Okay. So I'm going to position my envelope to where I want it, hold it up to the light, and then I flip it over like this. So I hold it, I flip it over, and then I'm going to mark it where it is, lining it up to the edges like that. Just two little marks. Okay, so that way I know where I'm going to place it. Okay, next you want to do is take your envelope and you're going to take either some repositional tape like this Tombow. It's called Mono Removable Adhesive. Or you can use washi tape that has like a light tack to it. Not too, not too, um, sticky and then I just roll it over onto itself and put a little piece there this one doesn't like to stick to itself just enough to hold your paper in place so like that okay and I'm going to take it over to my page again and I'm going to lay it down where those marks were, lining it up, you know, as even as possible to the one of the edges. And then just press down where you put that tape. Okay, flip it over. What I'm going to do, as you can see your window, is I'm going to... um. Fold the paper over, so, and don't crease it down real hard. Just real lightly crease it, and I'm going to fold it just inside the window, okay? And then I'm going to unfold it, and then I'm going to fold it over this way, and do the same. Fold it just over the edge of the window. towards the inside, okay? You wanna make enough of a crease so you can see it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the ends. Just inside the window. Fold this up just inside the window. Okay. Okay, now you can take the tape off. And, you know, I was gonna go through a, a list of supplies and I forgot to do that. But um, you don't really need a lot. You might need an, a craft knife and a white, a white glue and a glue stick. For, that's those are the main things you will need scissors um pencil and a little punch for your um notch on your pocket if you want and then the washi tape or the repositional tape like that and i think that's it maybe a bone folder okay so okay so now we've got our little square or a window kind of outlined with those folds okay next i'm going to take my craft mat get the pull that out and i'll flip it over because i can see it better 
I might just take my craft knife. You can do this with scissors too. And kinda leave about a half an inch or so in in or a quarter inch in from the edge of the fold. I'm just gonna make like a a, a wonky X. <laughs> just enough to, you know, cut the paper. Let's see. This, um, I think I need to change my blade. It's not that sharp. Uh, and this around and go over this one again. There. Okay. So now we have a little X cut out and that just makes it easier because I'm gonna tear around this, these um, folds. Now, the way I do it is you use my, my thumb and I use my index finger and that guides me real well right along that fold. Plus the fact that you folded it lightly um, also helps with the tearing around this edge. Now, if you have a long piece like this, just roll it up because I have little hands. Roll it up so you can, so you can reach that. I don't need, I should have cut it off, but I didn't. Do that here. Roll it up a little better here. Okay. I usually do this closer to me, but I'm trying to stay in the camera here. So a little bit more awkward. Okay. And that index finger is the key to your tearing. It's a really cold day here today. 27 degrees and there's snow on the ground. Okay, almost done here. Just gotta turn that corner. All right, take those scraps away. So we have our window, it's a little, this one isn't quite as smooth as the other ones I've done. And when I want it a little smoother, I take these little deckled edge scissors. I've had them for ages. I don't even think they make this make anymore. And I'll kind of like trim it off. with them just a little bit but I kind of like the torn edge now at this point if you want we don't need this anymore if you want you can ink around this Okay, and this is the point at which you do that. So we take our envelope, make sure we have it how we want it to lay on the page. And voila, 
it fits the window okay and you do that on the back side too with a um, plainer paper you know or design but just make sure that whatever shows through to the other side you know is it kind of coordinates with the front like this one I decided that maybe coffee dye paper would look good showing through like here so if I do if I tear this window and a, a little bit shows at least I've got something that coordinates with the with the paper I'm using on the front um, and I'll show you that in the one that I completed later on all right let me show you how I glue it because sometimes it's really difficult to like put glue all down and then try to get it in the right place so I do it in steps and I need my scrap paper here so we can do some gluing I don't think glue stick sticks real well to this plastic so what I do is I use white glue around this edge here just to so make sure that it sticks down pretty well um i wouldn't use anything like um fabric tac or three-in-one adhesive because there's like an um i think it's acetone that's in the glue and it it'll often react with this plastic and make it pucker up and wrinkle and i've had that experience before so I just thought I'd give you that tip. Yes. I'm gonna take my wet glue first and put some white glue down here because this is all plastic here. Don't want to lose my pen again. <laughs> I could end it in the last video. Okay, so I'm gonna place that down. Kind of matching up my marks here too. Making sure things are straight. There. So now I got that in place. Then I flip up the paper, turn it over, flip up the paper, and I'll glue the rest down. That. Take my glue stick. Go right down there. And if you get a little bit on the window, it wipes off real easily with a wet wipe. So, pull my paper down. Glue that right down. And then I'll do the other side. Flip that up. Put the wet glue down. And once you get the hang of doing this, it's that you can make quite a few in a, you know, relatively, you know, short amount of time. You just have to get the hang of it, like doing your first one. And it um, goes real easy after that. And then you go down this part. glue and glue stick now I don't use white glue for the whole piece because I seem to get a smoother surface when I use the um, the glue stick for some reason when I use the Art glitter glue, it feels bumpy underneath. And then I glue down this area where the pocket is. Make sure I got the whole thing covered.
Okay, you just smooth everything over. Make sure it's all glued down well. And I'll take my scissors. That's my washing machine, if you can hear it. I closed the door, but um, it tends to be quite loud. So I apologize for that. Okay, and then what's left over you can, uh, you can use to make um, a tag or even two journal cards. I'll set that aside and then I'm just gonna fold this edge over so there's a nice clean edge to the pocket okay I'll glue that down Now we're gonna trim. Well, I hope I caught that edge. Okay, usually I let this dry really well before I fold it. But since we're, I need this for the video, I'm gonna just go ahead and do it well, it's still wet. Okay. So there we have our flip out. Okay. And like I said, for the back, okay, um, just use a paper that's, that's going to coordinate with the design on the front. And I'll show you what I mean. I made this one. Okay, and um, I used this dyed paper on the back. So you can see there were some areas that peek out. And um, I don't know if you can see that. See where the, the green kind of shows on this side. But it coordinates with this one, with this design. So it looks okay. And then I just put some Tim Holtz die cuts, flower die cuts in the front, and a piece of washi tape down the edge here. And um, this is the pocket, and a fussy cut bird. Then these are from Rachel's fussy cut birds. So that's one flip out. This is the one we just made. The other two I need, this is the one that I showed you before with the collage, okay? This is just a fussy cut um, botanical I got out of a, a book. These are some labels. And then this is a little pocket I made at the top. And a little journal card that I made from a piece of a page, part of a page from um, Edith Holden book. And then this is a, um, a washi sticker. This is a, um, a whale's tail tab. And this is back with some, um, a blank page to an old book that I saved. And that just slips in the pocket that so when you fold it over you have your little tab showing on this side so that's that one and I showed you this one and then this one I thought oh gee you know I can either make it so that whatever design is on the page to show the window but why don't I make a pocket so I can put a journal card in 
And this one I covered with that tissue paper, that Tim Holtz tissue paper. Make it a roll to show you. Um, I don't know if these, these are still um, being made or if he's retired them, but this is that tissue paper I'm talking about. Comes in a roll and he's got several different designs. He's got at least, let's see, I have seven of them so this one is the birds one and um i usually either stick it down with glue stick or um gel medium i i've used both actually so that's that so that's what i used on the front here and it, it came out okay but it came out kind of wrinkly so I think the paper is because it was, you know, tissue paper and not paper. And I put a bird on the front. And then this one um, attaches to a left side page. Um, where's my... Just, so it would attach to a journal page on this side. And then it would open up and there's a pocket. And there's the card that shows through the window, the journal, the tag. I need to put something at the top, like ribbon or something. And then this slips down in the pocket. This is one of Rachel's um, book plates from her shop. She's got a whole kit that's book plates. So that's the challenge in, uh, for today. I hope you got some inspiration from that and um, maybe give it a try and see how it goes for you. Um, and when I say that, I mean this, you know, what I showed you today. So have a good day, everyone. And I will see you soon with week, um, week 10 of the challenge. Bye.